be on stage today. Holy shit. I like forgot what this is like. Like, I totally might not remember my jokes. I can't believe I'm about to go from zero minutes of stand-up for three, nearly three months to like a hundred minutes of stand-up in two days. Hopefully this video gives you a little bit of insight as to things that are good, things that are bad, things that I think can happen and be done correctly um, in just the landscape of comedy right now. I'm comedian Jake Snell and this is Director's Cut Comedy. My buddy Skylar and I documented the reopening of Skyline Comedy Club in Appleton, Wisconsin on May 29th and 30th, 2020. As a show producer, I felt it was important to see all the ways that we can make the return to comedy after quarantine as safe as possible. I think you should take that, yeah. 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 I think, because I've already canceled shows for after this date would be. So, and that's just because I don't think that those other venues are going to be willing to do all the same things. But like, just looking at what they're doing, they're spacing out all the tables, they're operating at severely diminished capacity, which I don't even really know how they're making money. They're taking everyone's temperature before they're allowed in the club, yeah. sanitizing everything in between, and then PPE for staff. It's like the closest to the right way to do it that I've seen. Because mm -hmm. like, the thing is, is like a club opening with three comics performing for a weekend is a lot different than, and like, I don't know, like 30 people maybe at the show. It's a lot different than like an open mic where 30 people would sign up and all use the same mic and like, yeah. you know. I mean, you could almost even bring your own microphone with you if you I'm, wanted to. I'm going to bring my own mic. Yeah. Uh, or like a windscreen or something. Yeah. I don't, well, I'm sure they, I'm sure they have that. <laughs> I, now it's like totally cool to go up there and, you know, with your disinfectant wipes and <laughs> wipe off the microphone. I that. know. Yeah. But now it's like totally like people understand. <laughs> we should cut to that in, in the documentary and just like, look, I've always been really conscious about yeah. Boom. Your last two comics have herpes. Okay. Um, whoa! <laughs> like, that's funny as hell. <laughs> and I have the, the hand washing bit mm -hmm. too that, yeah, for those of you watching, I have OCD, so I'm very always worried about germs, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I've already reached out to like over 30 comedians to talk about it. and everyone's pretty much saying the same thing like even like people that i really expected to be like no don't do it have been like i could see how you doing it would potentially be valuable to see yeah you know everyone has a million questions and no answers about what it's going to look like why I'm not yeah why kind not? of show it a little bit Absolutely. like I, it's i think it's fascinating this time right now you know yeah it's definitely it's like in the name of science. Like, and it's not like we're gonna be going out there and, you know, hugging people and shaking hands and doing yeah, all that. Yeah, I'm not gonna be after the yeah. show, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think it's a catch-22. I mean, we have to, like, test the waters of what this is gonna look like trying to perform yeah. under these, like, circumstances and see how it goes. We're not gonna know unless we try. Yeah, and I think it's a you big, know, it's a big difference between, like, a club opening and doing like several and like any safety protocol they can possibly think of versus like the open mic scene becoming a thing again like that clearly yeah. isn't a safe thing but this right. might be we just have to we just have to try so this is an official uh this is an official when i get shit for this you're going to come to my defense i'll come defend you okay cool <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my intention with this is to provide value, and so I know for sure that people are going to get something from this. Yeah, and well, like I'm willing to take the little bit of risk. Documenting the process of 
going about it the right way or trying to go about it the right way would be cool. Mm hmm. All right, cool. Thanks okay. again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> nice. She's so hot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Hey! <clears throat> How long have you been doing Susan? Five years. I uh, did a movie, a, a little short movie, doing the makeup and hair for Jim Gaffigan. Oh, really? Right. Before he was anything. I actually have a couple of really, really Caucasian white people that have afros. Oh, yeah? That's that 70s fro. The, the Bob Ross. <laughs> Getting a haircut made me feel like the five grand I lost because of quarantine and sexy than a motherfucker. When <laughs> <laughs> you have two beers at 11 in the morning, <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. It's 126 now. I'm fine, guys. Yeah, Relax. it's Relax. time. It's time for coffee, right? Oh, camera. Thanks. Do you want to be on our documentary? Do yeah, do you want to be on our documentary? Yeah, I do actually. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, what's your name? Sierra. Sierra. Sierra Skedendor, Madison, nice. Wisconsin. Nice. Good yo, yo. What's the documentary about? Uh, I'm a stand-up comedian. We're documenting my first show after quarantine and stuff. Were you, you're a stand-up comedian? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Jake. Jake Snell. Jake Snell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Snake gel. I'll remember you. You'll remember you're that. Famous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you actually ended up following us on YouTube, What's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try mine now. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. You can taste the maple. You really can. Can you? Absolutely. 100%. She wasn't lying. <laughs> the way she sold it was like, it's got like maple in it. <laughs> Yeah, there's like maple in it. I was like, okay. <laughs> Definitely. So that looks I'm great. not going to take the other one. Looks great. I mean, sorry, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> What's the plan here? Fucking. Uh, let out three months of being indoors by hitting golf balls with my penis. With your what? Oh, nice. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> as soon as we hit the road, I realized it was bright out, and I was probably going to need to put on some sunglasses. So I threw them on, looked at myself in the mirror, and I was like, oh shit, man, I'm immediately insecure about having these on in the first place, so, uh, fuck these sunglasses, man. <laughs> How you feeling, Jake? Feeling good. Oh, I can take, I'm outside, I can take my mask off. Yeah. Um, Look at all these buggos. I have to take my pants off. Though. Are these all bug? No, that's not bugs. Those They're are like leaves. Flies. Oh, these are flies. Oh, the internet, look at his, look at his body. <laughs> oh. Alright, you look good. I think this is the skyline they are referring to when they say skyline. Yeah. There's trees and a, there's a little majestic little seagull flying. You know, they got pelicans here. They have yeah. pelicans in Appleton. Absolutely. In the northeast Wisconsin, they have pelicans that migrate back for the, for the summer. They're just trying to hang with some cool bros. Yeah. Up in the, for the northeast, dude. Yeah, so. Alright. No, J JC Penny Pose, he's taking pictures of you. Put your hands in your pockets like this. Oh, yeah, this is my cameraman. Yeah, yeah. J JC Penny Pose, man. You're not supposed to laugh until. He won't pose like I tell him, cameraman. I know. <laughs> it's alright, we've already been kicked out, it's alright. Your name is Cameraman. <laughs> yeah. I miss, I miss comedy, I don't, I don't miss crowds. <laughs> yeah, right, I feel yeah. <laughs> God damn. Alright, alright. Here we go.
Even with precautions in place, the one thing you can't control in a comedy show is how the crowd behaves. But big props to Bridget and Skyline Comedy Club for doing everything they could to make this feel as normal and comfortable as possible. So we're, this is the guy we picked up. That's Gabriel Rutledge, yeah. yeah. How'd it go last night? Last night went well. Yeah. It was uh, nice to remember what comedy used to be like before I did it on Zoom all the time. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it was nice to look two diff some different directions instead of directly into a screen. Right, right. You excited for tonight? Yeah. I rock? mean, it's uh, last night. I think I it was like thirty five percent of the thirty five percent capacity was full last night. <laughs> so it looks way back tonight. More it's back, uh, yeah. close as they can get. I don't know. It's, it's fun, but it's also like. You know, those occasional feelings of like, what the fuck are we all doing here? Yeah, I'm right. Not sure, this is a good idea. Feel but that, <laughs> feels weird being in here. Does this it? is the most packed show so far. Yeah, it's, and I can't. Strange, usually, right? you see a packed crowd, and you're like, fuck yeah. But right now, I'm like, Jeez. I don't know. <laughs> I know right? The shows went really well, and the crowd was great. I ended up feeling very comfortable being there, and I think as the comedy community moves into the next phases of reopening. It's really important to use places like this as an example to make sure everything is as safe as possible. Oh! Look at this. It's so good at that. Pretty soon you won't even know. Wow. Ah, fresh. Bro, I'm gonna cross those fucking hands right now. There you go. Doesn't that feel better? It was good, man. I feel like it went well. What did you think? You were watching. You ripped, dude. It was good. Thanks, man. Because, like, crowds get better the more there are and the closer they are. Yeah. And so, for them being not numerous and far apart, that was, like, kind of as best as you can hope for. Like, some of my jokes fucking just, like, kept steamrolling them, you know? Yeah. Like, I had, I had a lot of good momentum moments, for sure. Yeah, it was good. It feels weird to go talk about silly shit a little bit. Cause it's like, there's a lot of shit right now in people's lives that's not very fucking silly. But, in the way that like, I wish there was baseball right now, it's not cause baseball's important. Baseball's right. never been important. It's like, that would be a nice distraction to my shittier than it used to be life. Yeah. Right? And so then in some ways it's about comedy, it's not about... Yes. It's just a, like a nice distraction. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, laughter cool. is important. It doesn't fucking matter what you say to get the laughter. You know what I mean? It's right. like, we're here to make shitty lives yeah. less shitty. I don't want a serious TV show right now. I don't want to. Oh, you know what I mean? I want the silliest, dumbest. <laughs> you know, no one's in quarantine. Like, Schindler's List tonight, honey? <laughs> 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 no, no. That sounds great. <laughs> Let's make love afterwards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Instead of a documentary about the first weekend back of doing comedy, we could just, I mean, because of how this weekend played out, we could just make it a documentary about people stuck in a comedy club while the world is ending. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's awesome. I love so that. So dating's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's like people fucking like throwing like valid hop cocktails and just like, yeah. fuck the police! And it's like, so, uh, <laughs> went on a date the other day, it was pretty wacky. <laughs> she, she didn't even reach for the bill. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, outside. <laughs> it's like, fucking restaurants being burned right now. <laughs> just people fucking... are fucking, you know, pooping in the middle of the road and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I was raised. Yeah. What we did was we opened a comedy club and we, we did a show. Uh, we only allowed 30% of the people uh, capacity, and we had them socially distanced. No, everyone was very, we, we used masks when we were walking around, and uh, all the staff w was wearing masks, and ev everything seemed to be very according to the Howie Mandel type way of living. And that's the way we're supposed to be living for the next couple of months, and I think we did it. So I think we can have comedy clubs, but time will tell.
that we I think we did make history today. Yeah, and it was a good show. Yeah, it, it was, was Jake's. Good. It was Jake Snell. It was Gabriel Rutledge. Wherever up there, oh, wherever he is, <laughs> it sounds like he died. <laughs> Where he is he? <laughs> the light. <laughs> and Rob Brackenridge, of course. The Dry Bar special is uh, drybarcomedy.com. Rob Brackenridge, and you can tip me from one to twenty dollars, and you can watch the special. No for more than twenty. Free. For yeah. free. I don't know. I'm, this is the only way you can make money these days. I, we got you. You'll go. You'll make it. Right, yeah. Good no. to see you, Rob. Yeah. yeah, it's good seeing you too, man. Yep.